Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Israel and welcome to the Tribble Time Warp. It is still the 7th of May and we are going Klingon for this one. Yeah. Cryptic were good enough to drop some hints that they've got the tutorials working a bit better. And yes, Secret of Nimbus has been updated. Hallelujah. Please, please say this is going to... Work. It will cost zero credits to travel to Taldera. Oh, wow. That really is cheap. Right, let's see what we can get. I'm pretty sure that's the first bug of the episode, actually. Right. Nimbus 3, has it been updated? Um, no. Ha ha ha. Right, uh, okay. That does not appear to be working at all. Fine, well, let's dump the mission. In progress, drop. Okay, alright, episodes, Secrets of Nimbus, hail! Commence got his background, that's something I suppose. And we are going off to the Sands of Nimbus, where apparently absolutely nothing is going to happen. Okay, maybe it hasn't been updated that much then. Right. Bit of a problem because I was kind of playing through that. Friend or foe? What's this one? Hail. Aha, Kumta! Excellent! Just to reprise, you remember this is the chap we broke out of Rura Pente. Now, where did we leave it? Feckley Return, Wasteland, the Un dying. Where has this gone? Here we are. Your investigation leads you to the Vor system where we attempt to find proof of a plot to destabilize them. There's always a plot to destabilize the Empire. If it's not the Romulans, it's the Federation. If it's not the Federation, it's the Klingons. If it's not the Klingons, it's the Riansu. And if it's not the Riansu, well, there we go. There's always something. All right, Drake. Well, he's a lying little tosser, Jai, but... To the Vor system we will go, and this is your, yes, you're off and toddling around the sector map as a Klingon. So we are heading to the Pycarnus block now, if memory serves. Do, 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 do. And while we're here, let's get the HUD to something a little more appropriate. Incidentally, you'll also note that rearranging the HUD has been tidied up. These are no longer solid blocks. Bridge crew could use a little bit of a revamp, but generally it's a bit easier to see what everything will look like when you're done with it. However, that wasn't what I meant to do, so options... Do, 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 do. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Video. Colour scheme. No, not now. Romulan. Do, 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 do. Klingon. Oh yes, those of you who remember me moaning that we didn't have the old classic colour schemes, now we do! So we can still have our bright red. However, for the moment, Romulan classic, what's that? Dark green, Mon Romulan is slightly paler green. Current Klingon. Because why not? Should be more or less in the right place. Here we are, Pycon's block. Excellent! You're ready to set course for the Vor system. Ugh. Uppity bridge officers. Right, let's see. Do, 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 do. 4.5 light years. Set auto fire upon these while I'm here. This is something that they really ought to be highlighting in the early space tutorials. Never mind anything else. Okay, well, it's not an ideal setup, but let's just not have abandoned ship where I can put it in and stop. Class Q. Cannot remember, it must be fairly close to M. Type F star, which is slightly smaller than Sol, if memory serves. Sol's a small type G. 
God, it's been years since I did any astrophysics work. Alright, wait for this Federation loading screen to do its stuff. That's something I've been wondering about for a while. Are we ever going to see Klingon Elkar style loading screens? Not that Klingons would use anything so effeminate as the Elkars, of course. Klingon interface loading screens, that's better. Hmm. The Vor system. The Iridian scientists, of course it's suspicious. Do the Iridians even have scientists? Well, they must do, certainly. They're not known for their sign of prayers, but it's this is a protected asset. In other words... Uh, someone high up is pulling strings. Amar Singh. Oh, terrific. Where's the cloaking device? Okay, that's handy. This is a Logna Beta 3. What happened to Logna Betas 1 and 2, I wonder? Hmm. <laughs> yes, we're doing this Klingon style. We will, however, have to decloak. Admittedly, that was not so much one photon torpedo as it was two torpedoes and several volleys of disrupt fire. Message sent. Um, I think that might have been a smidge of overkill. You're complete. We're filing a formal complaint. Excellent. Would you like the response to that complaint? <laughs> Miserable little Tosajai. Nakja sucking Togut. Oh. They have, have they? Wonderful. Where did I leave Scatter Volley? I suspect this would probably have to be taken a bit more seriously if I was still running a Burrell, but... Boom. Right. Oh, for heaven's sake. Shuttles? Against the fully armed Raptor? Really? Ugh. I'm not sure whether to respect their courage or decry their insanity, track her away. Both I think. Now are you going to be reasonable about this? Uh, apparently not. Right. Ships dropping out of warp. Wonderful. Where is it? Oh, Romulan warp. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Just how many deals have you done? Ish. Your whoever whoever wrote this has definitely got the tone of the mission right. Your assistance is no longer needed. <laughs> yes, it's internal, as in my Batleth is going to be stuffed into his internals when this is done. Yes. Of course he's responding, because they're selling the research to the Romulans on the side. Why else? That and high-level genetic research gear is doubtless rather expensive, and they've got bills to pay. And then switch your computer. Start breaking the encryption. Or did we not have the good sense to have a backdoor on their computers? Right, said so we find evidence, not clues. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you lie every time you draw breath. <laughs> um, 
We appear to be short a hostile Romulan warbird. Let's see what happens if we decloak. Ah, there we go. No, you don't. Rapid fire, attack team, high yield, and try not to blow the crates away. Okay, clear the plasma fire. We've just vaporized the damned evidence, haven't we? Oh, terrific! A Republic Warbird and... Oh, this is quite interesting. Why are they helping? Yeah, who cares? Rapid fire, tactical team, high yield. Tractor engaged, target marked. Right. It's not talking, Rayana. We tracked the tower shards. The system would have been outmatched without your aid. Yeah, you would have been. 412 for a Romulan. I'm listening. When is the tower shards? Oh, Nimbus, which ties us into the next plot arc. And they're using the science station as a fence. Right, those will be the spy gates that we just blew into plasma. Whoops. Transferring the data now. Get me that core. Right. I'm sure you're going to follow protocol. Very well then. Right, let's just quickly loot these out. <sighs> And that would appear, that's it. Yeah, well let's depart the system and leave this miserable little Toba to his work. Right, your officers have analyzed the shipping logs. Oh, Kumtar is Worf's son. That, that's a stunner. Right. I take it back. This mission is getting significantly more epic. All right, hit the transwarp drive. Nice of Cryptic to make the point. They should really move that window though, so the arrow is pointing at the transwarp icon. However... Because it was down here, wasn't it? Either have it pointing directly to transwarp, or to the little transwarp icon here. Right, to the first city! We have a meeting with a legend. And hi, yeah, we brought your son back after we busted him out of Rura Pente. I'd love to know how this conversation's gonna go. Right. Arms the battler. Security team is off cooldown. Right. There you are, Wolf. Let's talk. Wolf son of Moch. If you do not wish to participate at this moment, come see me again. What? Where's that come from? Alright, so do you have a moment? I am General Boror. 
Haha, <laughs> yeah, this is Worf. <laughs> Very well, I'm here I'm here with Kumtar. <laughs> right. Oh, of course. Kumtar's an alias, isn't it? And tell him he can come and speak to me face to face like a man. Danger. <laughs> That's brilliant. All the great houses want to be dead. This is a normal day for Wolf. <laughs> Luong is involved. However, I would not be surprised if you mentioned the House of Dose, because, of course, the House of Dose have always been in with the Romulans. We don't know. This is as I saw them quite landed him in Murapente. Alright, well, that was about as productive as Kumtar expected. Alright, let's go on to the com. I'm just going to check something here, because... Yes, they even match the kutch correctly. So they were careful enough to get a family resemblance on the artwork. Whoever did this paid attention to the details, and he said that your name is not Kumtar. Which is why if my bridge officers are following protocol, there are now at least two disruptor rifles levelled at your head. He did not seem concerned, and yes, it is important. Alright. He mentioned the House of Doras. Yes, he wants nothing to do with it. Gotcha! Ha! We should at least want the House of Molotov. Uh, we'll find the rats, yes. However, if you can't persuade the Jintuk to see sense, you're going to have a hard time persuading the Lady of the House to see sense. Because let's face it, the Jintuk is her most trusted advisor. He says it's all junk. However, we must meet with the Lady Sorella and we get impulse engines and a shield emitter, which is a nice touch. Congratulations, General. Right. Let's just keep this plot by moving, because I want to see what's going on. It's pitched us straight into Secrets of Nimbus. Oh. Oh, right, okay. So that's a little bit broken. That's the in-progress dialogue. Okay, so... It picks us straight from friend or foe into war zone, bringing down the house. Then leads on, so we're back into the old missions, and then it picks up from there. Okay, so that's a nice little prologue, but they do rather lose the Tal Shiar arc for a bit because the Fekri return just jumps in. I must admit, I would be quietly inclined to move the Fetlery return to after Wasteland, just to keep that particular plotline going. However, mine is not a reason why. So, can we transwarp to Taldera? It's still broken. Nope. Okay, so it looks like we are going to be leaving things here for a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yosrul. Wolf's an idiot, but what do you expect? And I will see you next time.